Yo guys, Dandy here. Um, I know it's been a while, but I wanted to show you my updated recording settings for OBS because these ones are outdated and they're not as good for recording on high FPS. So I'm going to show you my new ones. Alright, so when you open up OBS, the first thing you want to do is go to your settings. And in general, this is really all preference, but what I do suggest you do is if you're using the newest one, it's going to be set to this for default, but this one kind of looks bad, so I suggest you just put it on dark. Dark is the most like the original OBS layout, so I just use that one. Skipping past stream, we're going to go to output, and this is probably the most important part of OBS for recording. Speaking of recording, we're going to go to the recording tab and make sure you have your output mode on advanced because this is going to give you all of these settings so the first thing you're going to do is your recording path i just set this to my e drive i created a new folder where i put all my videos you can also create a new file by clicking this button and it will create a new folder for you then going on to recording format you can change this to mkv i like to have mine on mp4 because it's just the best and it's the most compatible with programs like Vegas, which is what I use to edit my videos. Audio tracks, if you want the best performance, then I would suggest you keep this on one because then it won't have to process all the different audio tracks. But let's say you're recording a video and you have music playing on your computer and you don't want the music in your actual video, then you can set this to two or three and it will separate the different audio tracks on your computer and your microphone and stuff like that. But I just keep mine on one because I'm usually just recording my voice. Next going on to encoder this is probably the one of the most important parts of this video so if you have an nvidia gpu then you're gonna definitely want to set this to nvidia nvenc h.264 if you don't have one or you have an amd gpu then you're gonna want to set it to whichever one it shows here that's not x264 obviously i can't click on it because i'm recording in obs but if you have an nvidia gpu then you're definitely going to want to set it to the nvenc but if you have other ones then they'll work too and if you only have uh x264 then that's really your only option so just set it to that next going on to rescale output just keep this at the highest it can be mine being 1920x1080 because that's the resolution of my monitor so just keep it at the highest custom muxer settings doesn't really matter automatic file splitting doesn't really matter so now going on to encoder settings and when you start it's going to be on cbr so click on the rate control and change it to cqp cq level put this on 18 to 20 so 18 being the lowest and 20 being the highest just a reminder the higher you go the worse quality it's going to be so something like 30 will be pretty bad quality and something like one will be the best but you never really need anything below 18 so that's why i have it set at that but if you want like physically the best quality then put it at like one but that's gonna ruin your pc or something so maybe don't do that keyframe intervals keep this at zero which is auto so you know auto uh preset if you want the best quality put it at max quality but i like to put mine at max performance if i'm recording a game or something so that i get the best performance in the game as well as having high fps in obs profile set this to high and with these last four settings either set them to zero or with these uncheck the boxes so if these are checked just uncheck them and if these are set to any numbers just put them to zero now that the output tab is done go to the video tab and here's where you're going to set your FPS. So on the base canvas resolution, you can put this at 1920 by 1080 or the highest resolution you have. Output scaled resolution, if you want to record it in like really high FPS, then you can change this down into 1280 by 720, but I do not suggest putting it any lower than that. But if you just want to record in like 240 in Minecraft or something and you have a pretty decent PC, then just keep this at 1920 by 1080. This doesn't matter unless you're downscaling with this, so just keep it on this so it will automatically be set to resolution match no downscaling required so unless you are downscaling to 1280 by 720 then you're not going to need to change this and i don't think it will actually let you but if you do then i suggest you change it to linksos because then it will be the highest quality that it can be while downscaling and it won't like ruin your video 
Now here's the important part to record in high FPS. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on this little box here. You're going to change it from common FPS value to fractional FPS value. And then it's going to bring up the numerator and denominator. And what you're going to want to put in the numerator is what FPS you want to record in. So I usually record in 240, which is what I'm recording this in. But if I really wanted to, I could go to 360 or 480 or 512, really anything. But if you want to record in higher than 60 FPS, then you're going to have to change the setting to fractional FPS value. And you're always going to want to keep this on one. And this is the FPS you're going to be recording in. So set it to whatever you want. And that's how you get high FPS recordings. Now moving on to the last setting, which is going to be the advanced tab. And I suggest you put this on normal process priority because it's just best in my opinion. Now going over to the video tab and on the render it's going to be set to DX11. So just keep it at that. I suggest you put the color format to I420, color space to REC.709 and the color range to full. This is going to make your videos as close to the actual color as they are on your screen. And you know, you probably want that so that it doesn't look all weird in your recording. And yeah, that's basically it. Also, if you don't have your recording format in MP4, then you can change this to automatically remix to MP4. And basically what this will do is once you finish recording a video, then it will automatically change the file to mp4 so let's say sometimes your pc will crash then it will still have the video and you can still use it and the video won't get lost so if you have like a bad pc sometimes your obs just randomly crashes you're going to want to change the recording format from mp4 to like mkv or something so yeah that's basically all the settings that you're going to want and these are really the best settings you can get in obs studio and also one more thing i almost forgot with your preview if you're recording in a high fps like 240 or above or 120 or above really what you're going to want to do is go to your like home screen on obs and you're going to want to right click and click enable preview so then it will say preview is currently disabled and this is just so it won't have to render out all of the frames that you're recording in so it's going to make it a lot easier and it's going to give you a lot more performance and it's not going to lag as much so you know that's good and another thing you can do is whenever you launch obs click run as administrator this is going to give you a lot more performance as well just like the preview so these are really just tips you don't have to do them but it's going to be a lot better for your pc and you're going to be able to record in a lot better quality so yeah that's basically it peace out please have a good day and subscribe if you like it all right this this is taking way too long it's 12 o'clock at night peace please